good enough. Okay, so it's currently 2 o'clock. My talk is at 7 o'clock. So that gives me just a couple of hours to memorize about 40, 20 to 40 minutes of content. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm actually kind of nervous. So we'll see how this goes. I have uh, all intention. I spent all last night editing. I didn't really get to practice my first talk. So, yeah. I don't know if it's because I'm... Forgot my keys. I don't know if it's because I'm used to being in the desert or what, but my dad had the AC on to 77. Freezing for me. I woke up and I was... And I woke up cold this morning because of it I'm used to no he, he had it set for 73 I turn the AC off in my place when it's 77 in Las Vegas it gets to about like 116 119 and in the day in the night it gets to about like 100 105 something like that shit want to hang around with all night rather than watch her bounce around from guy to guy and those are the type of girls that will like make out like three or four of them and then she, and then they'll go home alone with saying like no guy wants me because they didn't stay in set you always gotta stay in set <laughs> so um, one thing that guys always get wrong is that staying in set is the main thing that you want to do. I always try and stay in set as long as possible because it's even if uh, even if girls say I got to go to the bathroom, okay, and they take their friend. Normally, sometimes that doesn't even uh, sometimes that doesn't even mean that she wants to ditch you. It just means that she wants to uh, uh, that she wants to talk to her friend, her female friend. And then some guys, uh, they say, oh, well, she didn't want me because she wanted to go to the bathroom. No, she was talking about fucking you in the bathroom, like, <laughs> with her friend in the bathroom talking about fucking you, and you, she came out and you weren't there, you are talking to some other girl. Like, you totally ruined the whole thing. You have to stay in set. Yeah. I'll blur you guys' faces out or something. All right, I just got done giving my talk. Ypsilanti apparently went really well. Hi. <laughs> so. I don't know what's been up with my phone lately, but it seems to be tripping out on me. So the footage is going to be a little wonky. Uh, I don't know what's been going on, but this phone I've had for about two days, I keep switching. I, I don't think Galaxy S7 is it's starting to lose credibility in my eyes. So... I decided to not hold back anymore. I want to talk about about two days ago, I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos. And this comment it just actually happened to be about me wearing hats in my videos. And see this right here? Yeah. So let's talk about why I wear these hats. They actually are a little bit magical, okay? It sounds kind of weird, but it's kind of true. This hat, 
this hat I'll wear it in my videos and I know a lot of you you won't know the reference of what this means okay or why I wear a Nervo shirt it's exclusivity okay it means a lot in Vegas when you wear this hat and this hat you're part of something you're part of an exclusive club this club is industry people okay you have to be somebody to have this hat if you look at RSD Luke in one of his videos he's wearing this hat because he has a huge massive social circle in Las Vegas now he's got one bigger than me but I still have I don't know if he has this but I have this hat okay the Hakkasan group logo with the green bill he's probably had one before do you know what you need to have to do to get this hat you either well there's one way to get this hat okay and it's to spend thousands of dollars at the club buying a table and then on top of that you have to ask for it and then they'll give it to you if they even have any available so wearing this hat you are an industry person this hat I don't think anyone can even get this hat this this Omnia hat that I have on it's so exclusive you have to know somebody who probably knows somebody to get you this hat right here okay so it's massive social proof for when you live in Las Vegas and you hear you know you, you see someone wear this hat people are like dude Hakkasan whoa no way and they go kinda crazy people look up to people that wear this hat it's crazy but it's social proof I can go into nightclub you know how like most nightclubs and bars they don't let you wear hats at least in, like the the bigger places you can wear these hats in those clubs in the in these venues right uh, not just the Hakkasan venues but like a lot of different other venues you can wear these hats and it's just it shows it comes across as he can get away with a lot of the stuff see there is a thing that I've noticed that a lot of dating coaches that actually live in Las Vegas or a lot of pickup artists they try and get away we have a thing where we try and get away with how much we can get away with I think I said that wrong we try and get away with as much as we can and try and push those barriers so it's kind of a thing of okay so I wonder if I can get in to a nightclub wearing a hoodie because these nightclubs are so exclusive where there's people that wait up to three hours just to see a certain performer right so if you walk in with just a hoodie that means that you're you're somebody okay now I know that you know Luke gets into clubs like Dre's wearing a hoodie if you know who Psych is he just recently posted on Facebook saying I finally mission accomplished I got away with wearing pajama pants in the nightclub and getting in because there's people that are waiting for like three hours and they want to spend thousands of dollars to get into these nightclubs and they can't get in because they're wearing $700 limited edition Jordans okay I've seen celebrities getting uh, have drugs Miley Cyrus I, I would say might be able to get away with you know jeans skirt and um, and Jordans okay they're very strict on that because the clubs in Las Vegas are a lot different than all the other clubs they want to treat everyone the same I guess that's kind of Hakkasan's motto so but if you spend thousands of dollars you might be just lucky to have this hat